In this video we're going to take a look at how to create your own online web map about the hydrology of the Eden. First go to the ArcGIS online homepage and sign into your account. If you don't already have an account you can create a public account for free here. Once you're signed into your account, click Map on the header bar to take you to the mapping interface. The software also has some helpful guidance on creating a map at this point. We're going to zoom in over the area of interest, in this case Cumbria, and select a base map from the base map gallery. There are quite a few to choose from, so take a look and pick one that you like. We're going to go for the aerial imagery. We can now save our basic map template. We need to give it a title. Some keyword tags. and also a simple description. And then we can click Save Map. We're now ready to add some data to the map. Eden Rivers Trust have provided some GIS data for us to use, which you should have saved on your computer. We'll also add some data from the internet. To start adding data, select the Add button and then Add Layer from File. Navigate to where you saved the Eden Rivers Trust data on your computer and select the Eden Catchment Boundary file. Click Open and then Import Layer. You'll see that the catchment boundary has now appeared on your map. In terms of attributes, we only want to show the location of the layer. If we click on Options, we can then change how the layer appears. We can change the colour of the layer. We can also change the transparency of the layer. and we can change the visible range over which the data appears. When you're happy with the look of your data, click OK and then Done. We're now going to add some more data to the map in the same way. This time we're going to add the Eden Major Rivers to the map. Again, we only want to show the location of the rivers, and this time we'll change the colour to blue. As well as the major rivers, we're also going to add major lakes and reservoirs, otherwise known as still water bodies, to the map, using the same method as before.